talk to you about routes. And there's a simple principle we use when taking routes. If the puck is in front of you, you get in front of it. If the puck is on the side of you or behind you, you go to your post. So we're gonna give you an example of what it looks like when the puck is in front of you and you want to get in front of it. So right now, Ryder was on angle to a shot that was taken. He butterflied, and let's say he didn't control the puck and send it to the corner. Puck kicked out right here into the slot. So what Ryder wants to do, he's going to take a flat route because the puck is in front of him and get in front of it. So what that looks like when he pushes, and flat is just a straight line across. Now, he's directly in front of the puck, right on angle, in position to give him the best chance to make that second save. The mistake goalies make is they'll attack this puck out. And the reason we don't wanna do that, if you attack out at this puck, it leaves a lot of net open. In one of our previous videos, when we talked about positioning, we said depth is important, but it's overrated. You wanna be on angle in square first, and that's where this applies. As he pushes across, he's gotta stay flat and push in a straight line across. So he gets on angle and he gets square. He has to give up depth to give himself the best chance to make that save. Same situation we just showed. Ryder was on angle to a shot. He made the save, did a better job of controlling the rebound, but didn't fully control it to the corner where he wanted it to go away from danger. So now the puck is on the side of him. So the mistake most goalies make, they'll attack directly at the puck leaving a lot of net open short side. So as Ryder pushes, he's gonna give you an example of what we don't want this to look like. Leaves a lot of net open. Now we're gonna give you an example of what this should look like. Ryder was on angle to a shot, puck went over here. Now the puck's on the side of him. So his route is to the post. Go! There we go. When you get in front of the puck, when the puck is in front of you, it's pretty straightforward. The confusion on routes when you go to your post is do you stay in the butterfly or do you lean into your post and go into your RVH? The way we simplify that is we use this line here that essentially would go through the back post through the bottom of the circle. This line, it depends on the goalie's height, the way they play. It might be a little bit higher if you're taller, but generically, we start it through the bottom of the circle. And the reason is, if the puck is higher up and Ryder, same thing, on angle to that, and he slides to his post, it goes right into his RVH. Go ahead. <laughs> He leads the far side of that net wide open. From a different angle, if the puck is above this line, why when we slide, when the puck's on the side of us, when our route is to the post, why we wanna stay in the butterfly? So if the puck is above that line, we gotta be in our butterfly to help us maximize net coverage when we slide to our post, when that's our route. If the puck is low, we don't have to worry about that far side. So as Ryder slides, his goal is to seal that short side post. So again, as he butterflies and slides, go ahead. He wants to seal that post. So the technical side of this, is no different than anything else. The puck's in front of you or the puck's on the side or behind. So let's say the shot came in, eyes are on it, your eyes snap first to the puck, your shoulders turn, keeping your hands in front. 
as you push, what we talked about in the video last week, you lift that leg, get the whole skate blade on the ice to get maximum power. The more that foot is completely under your body with the shoulder under the knee, you're gonna get maximum power and efficiency, and then you push in a straight line. Same thing, you're going to the post, your eyes find the puck, you rotate your shoulders, now it's just more of a rotation, you lift that foot, you get that whole skate blade on the ice, but now what really helps here is the more you get it on the ice and turn it, so get that foot under your body even more, and that toe is pointing forward as much as you can, that's gonna help you push in a straight line to the post. Go ahead and push. So the technical side of goaltending applies whether you're tee pushing, you're shuffling, you're down on your pads, you're transitioning from your feet to your pads or your pads to your feet. It's always the eyes going first, then the shoulders, and we're finishing with the feet. We mostly showed sliding or going from our feet and sliding on our pads. It's the same if we're tee pushing. It's optimal to stay on our feet whenever we have time. Now we'll show you a few examples of that. The puck's passed in front of Ryder, so his route is to get in front of the puck. So for this, I'm gonna pass it to Tristan in the slot. Ryder's gonna take a straight line, get in front of the puck on angle. Yep. Again. Yep. Yep. Now I'm gonna make a high to low pass to Tristan. It's still gonna be above that dead angle line, but it's to the side of Ryder. So Ryder's route is gonna be to the post. He's gonna be off the post because again, it's above that dead angle line. He's gonna get on angle and he's gonna get square. We're gonna show you a view from the side so you can see what that looks like. Yep. Yep, one more. Same situation, but now the shooter's enclosed. Ryder does not have enough time to get there on his feet, but the puck is to the side, so he's gonna aim for his post. Yep. Now let's do a really good job on this. It was really good. Snap that back leg underneath as you slide. One more. Now we're gonna show you an example where the puck's in front of Ryder, but the shooter's in tight, so he doesn't have time to get there on his feet, but his route is to get in front of the puck, so he's gonna slide, take that flat route to get on angle and get square to the puck. Good. An important part of this is something we call playing inside your posts. You want to get to your spot as fast as you possibly can, but you don't want to overshoot. The problem with that is, yeah, you might be able to make that first save, but you're going to put yourself in a position where you can never recover. Because most often times when you're sliding, you tend to make a blocking save where you might have to make a second save or cover the puck afterwards. Something I've been working on with Ryder, he's very athletic and we wanna help him leverage that strength of athleticism, but do it in a controlled way. So if there is a second or a third opportunity that he puts himself in the best position possible to make that safe. We're gonna show you the first example of what we don't want this to look like. Ryder's gonna slide, but he's gonna be over aggressive 
and he's gonna end up outside his posts. So if we slide too far, we give up too much of the net. So as we can see, Ryder made the save, which is great, but now he's so far out of the net that it's gonna be an easy goal. So we wanna work on making that save, but in a controlled way, so we're playing inside our posts. And this is something that takes time, because you still wanna go full speed, but you don't need to end up too far outside your posts, otherwise you're gonna end up like that. So that's why over time, you wanna work on the efficiency. Use power, but it's controlled and efficient, so you play inside your posts. Now we're gonna show you an example of playing inside your posts. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pass it to Tristan. Tristan's gonna shoot. If there's a rebound, we're gonna play it out. If not, Tristan's gonna have a second puck ready and pass it back to me so you can see how much less distance it is for Ryder to push back if there is a second puck. Play it. Yep. So that's a perfect example of why you wanna play inside your post. So if that puck does kick back into the slot, you have less distance to go and can make that second safe. Yep. Push. So thanks Tristan for shooting today. Thanks Ryder on your day off from school for coming to help. Uh, educate goalies. So routes are really important. Follow the principle. When the puck is in front of you, take a flat route and get in front of it. When the puck is on the side or behind you, aim for your post. And use that dead angle line as your guideline. If it's above it, stay in your butterfly. If it's below it, go in your RVH to seal the short side post. Follow that principle and it'll help you take your game to the hashtag next level.